if you are not or you don't want to be a bully with the bully then don't debate a bully otherwise the bully will make you look bad and will make you look like you are a loser and this is exactly what happened with David Wood with Mimi Hijab however with me he could not do that did he dare to have a debate they are so much intimidated to the point they were working to collect videos, samples of me saying things. Is that correct? You will notice they never collect samples of videos of anyone, not to opposite prophet, not to David, with nobody. You debate, okay, let's go debate. But with me, they have five, six Muslims in the room. And they prepare themselves, and actually they were late two hours from the time they prepare because they are preparing the videos. And they made a decision, they, we cannot debate him. We have to play the videos, and those videos supposed to will make him, make him look bad. So the whole idea is how we can make this person look bad. As simple as that. Same time, I find that those people are really priceless. You know, when... Uh, when somebody is a stupid, he becomes famous, he will do stupid things. Literally. So, if I go right now to the channel, he is, uh, he have a channel in Facebook, a channel in YouTube. He have other channels, those are not the same one. This is not the same one we're talking about. The channels which he bullied the other Muslims. You will notice that England, the Muslim in England, they are in chaos. They are in chaos to the point they are beating each other. Literally. Like we saw in the other day, a guy, his name is Shamsi, and uh, three, four guys, Muslim guys, they, they beat the guy. And actually, they come from his back. I saw the video, very cowardly behavior, but eh, that's Muslims. And they did beat the guy. And then Shamsi is making a video, and then really Hijab, he claimed that he is the one who is the hero. He says, we warn you, but you don't dare to say I am the one who sent him, because simply he is not. Uh, but he want to make himself like he is the one sponsored by the Muslims, and you are not. So not only they bully, they try to cause physical harm to their own fellow, fellow Muslim. And this is why I believe that those are really priceless. They divide the Muslim community in, 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 in everywhere. If you remember Larry Dawa when he made a video, bullying the guy, the other guy, for and he called the video this guy, you know, he support Israel. Do you remember? Let me see if I can find it for you. We just played it, you know, two days ago. This is how horrible their situation is. And when an idiot, he become the one who is going to represent the Muslims in international media, that even the best thing to happen. You don't want someone to be smart to be there. The more stupid he is, the better it is. So I believe, even though David Wood he did not, you know, do the right thing with this guy. But sometimes you never know. I mean, sometimes, you know, like uh, things work in the other direction. Not a single Muslim. Like, actually, if you see here, let me show you this. This is the video which he posted. And this is the Muslim's comment. XX is Steve saying, if you don't want to end your career, don't debate with Muhammad Hijab. And obviously anyone who debate Muhammad Hijab, he loses his career. But Muhammad Hijab don't dare to debate me. <laughs> and Muhammad Hijab, he is the one who delete everybody's career. If you go down a little bit, it says, let us not to forget the Israeli or the settler, which means why you are condemning Hamas for killing babies. 
the Muslims in the text, they don't understand that this guy is just practicing taqiyah. You have to say that. It's on a TV, you know, like it's a, you know, a program watched by millions of people. So I have to say I condemn killing babies. But in reality, you don't. If we click at the reply, opposer and occupiers, they are illegal. And by international law, Palestinians, Hamas, or anyone else from Palestinian territories are allowed to resist the occupation. So you see, so whatever he said, actually, the Muslims don't agree about what he said. So why he said it? Well, they understand that this is taqiyya. At first, they came as refugee and become invader. What well, isn't it you? Is the one who is doing that? You came as a refugee to London, and now you claim that you own London? But the truth is, even the Quran, those stupid people, says it clearly that this is the land of the Jews. Paris is a, such a hypocrite. Well, I thought Muhammad Hijab is being hypocrite, because why he didn't say, well, in Islam, we are allowed to kill our enemies. Isn't it his prophet? When they asked him about killing women and children, he said they are from them. He said that the prophet forbid. And then if you go and read the Muslim books, you will find that the prophet forbid killing the women, not because if he forbid, but because those are going to be our slaves. Why do you want to kill them? However, if it is of a necessity, you kill them. Children and women, they are taken as sex slaves and slaves for sale in the market. So Muhammad, he liked to protect his product as long as it's valuable. If it's not, kill them. You know, please consider that it is a must to be easy in Israel to express solidarity for the innocent people of Gaza. They are people of left wings that are aggressive. I have relative in Israel. The narrative is one-sided. Maybe this one is just, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, you know, she's not Muslim, obviously. But you don't understand even what they are saying. As an Algerian, I will never condemn Hamas because I know what the conclu uh, uh, con uh, colonization look like and what it does to people. And here you ask yourself, this guy is from Algeria. He's an African. Unless he's an Arab, the Arab, they invade his land. They force him to change his language. They force him to change his uh, uh, religion. And they force him to call himself Arab. And he's speaking about colonization. When this is what Islam does. What Algerian have to do with the Arab? If you ask him, are you an Arab? He will say, I'm an Arab. Here it says, a real man of uh, consistency and a single standard man hijab but isn't it Muhammad Hijab in the Deen show he says the Prophet he said actually he said that in the speaker corner maybe a few can find me the video he said the Prophet says if you don't convert to Islam I've been commanded to kill all mankind unless you are a Muslim you won't be killed this is the same guy and look like the video actually is uh, is few hours ago, eight hours ago. But you know, I just saw it. So, if we ask Mimi Hijab, what we should do with the Israeli? If you condemn killing the babies and the women, what is exactly the Muslim treatment? He will say, "Will we rape them?" You know, and here you ask yourself, why this guy Morgan? He did not ask him. What about raping children? You know, those people, they go to a place where they knew that those people, they don't, they don't go and hit in religion. They aren't going to speak about religion. And he will not insult his religion. 
because a question which is going to be a, you know, a harsh question is going to be taken as an insult. So those who they are doing those shows, they never insult Muhammad and they will not dare to insult Muhammad because they are simply doing business. They don't want to lose their business. They don't want to be at, at risk if they walk in the street, somebody would target them. So they want to do it safe way. Do you condemn Hamas? But they will never talk about Islam. They will never dare to say, you know, do you think this guy Morgan, he never heard of Muhammad saying kill the Jews? Why Muhammad want to kill every Jew? At that time, there was no Israeli state as a state. It was under the occupation of the Roman. Do you think Muhammad will say to him, Muhammad, he killed every Jew in the Arabian Peninsula? Why he killed them? Do you think he will say to him, Muhammad, he killed the Jews who he came to their city? You see, we saw a comment of a Muslim speaking about the Jews came as refugee, which is false. Muhammad himself, he came as a refugee to the city of Yathrib. And what Muhammad he did as a refugee, in the beginning he came with a few you know, Muslims, and then they start bringing more and more people to join him from the Arab. Remember, Yathrib is not an Arab city. The majority are the Jews. And Jews are not Arab. As soon Muhammad he have enough men to slaughter the Jews, he accomplished a mission. In fact, he start even assassinating Jews, women and men and old. We have stories of Muhammad torturing an old man so he can find where his money, he was a Jew. We have a story of Muhammad sending his man to borrow some food from a Jew. And then when he went inside the room, his bedroom, he put a sword in his chest. And the Jewish guy is almost a hundred something years old. So how this idiot he say, something totally against what his prophet did. And this is why actually he is here. He is here because he knew that the person in front of him, he have zero knowledge of it. They study the person. They study who is the one who is going to debate them. If the one who will debate them is very well educated in the topic, and he knew a lot about Islam, Mimi Hijab will never be there. In fact, just a few weeks ago, they asked him to come to the same show, and they told him the guy will be there, his name is Rashid. Brother Rashid, he's an ex-Muslim. What Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawahi, they said, they made a video say it was a trap. Is that correct? It was a trap. So he refused to go. Even though, by the way, Rashid, who is an ex-Muslim, he is not a good debater. He's a very nice person. I have a lot of respect for him. But you know, debate needs special skills. Not everybody can debate. Even Rashid is very nice as an ex-Muslim. And uh, they invite with him, what is the other guy's name? Anyone remember? Uh, the guy who wrote a book. Uh, the guy who have a website about jihad. Robert Spencer. Spencer. Hmm? So... Robert Spencer is not really a debater. He is a specialist about jihad. You know, he collect like the, the Muslim jihadists, they did this, they did that. He is not really that much a scary person in debate. Still Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawa, they run away from the invitation to the same exact program. Is that correct? And they made a video saying it is a trap. In the beginning, they were excited. The Dean Show, he made a video. He said, the great news, I received invitation from uh, Morgan. And I told the brother Muhammad Hijab to join us, to join. Mimi Hijab, in the beginning, he was excited until he learned who is the one who will debate him. 
and then he retreat. How come he retreat then, but he did not retreat here? 